So Gruntilda likes to taunt you a lot while you're going throughout her castle with little rhymes like that. Yeah, she's kind of a poet. And shit, I don't even know it. <laughs> That's the end of the video. We'll see you guys next time. So I'm assuming this cauldron here is the one that uh, she was talking to. No. Oh. She has several cauldrons. That cauldron will teleport me to another cauldron of the same color if I can find it. What you're saying is that because she's got more than one cauldron, she's a higher level witch. She's like a mega witch. Why does witch got a poo poo on her head? <laughs> she it's got a tiara. No. And, and that's <clears throat> just her haircut. No. Okay, and I need your help to remember this. Oh God. Okay. Well, I was gonna say she's got some disgusting binding of Isaac poo poo on her head. It's actually pretty important that we need to remember this. I've already forgot. Okay, brush her teeth with tuna ice cream. Tuna ice cream. Rancid milk. milk. Saggy Maggie's boutique. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Grunty's all like. Why aren't everybody think I'm super hot? I'm just gonna put more s fucking rotten milk in my hair until people think I'm the best. Pretend that it's, rhymed and it's just like her. It's something that came out of Vogue, probably. Vogue. Which v Vogue? Like Madonna? Because I look at Madonna, the material girl, and I'm not like, oh yeah, I bet she washes hair rotten. Remember that time Madonna was on David Letterman and 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 she was like, you know where I shop? Saggy Maggie's Boutique. That's where I get all my pointy ass bras. Well, it is an N64, so the only bra you could get will be a pointy bra. I went into the wrong one. That's the PlayStation, dude. You've seen Tomb Raider. Uh, you laughed too hard at that stupid ass joke. That was not funny. This is pretty funny. Too easy. Oh, so. <clears throat> hey, look, more things with eyeballs on them. Oh, good. Is this, that's not the same cauldron. Nope, that's a red one. You yeah. know, it's kind of purpley, right? Uh, we'll call this one brown. Brown. They're all brown. Well, this one's really brown. Oh, the mega brown. Sounds awful. Yeah, I don't like it either. So, I see that they put Donkey Kong in this game multiple times now. Well, let's take a closer look at him. Donkey Kong here, uh... Okay, he's wearing a cloak. No. That's his Donkey Kong hat. Donkey Kong's got that dumb little curl on his head, which I assume is some sort of, like, cancerous growth. But you, you can see how the hood has a little space in it as soon as he turns around. You see? Will you quit letting him kill you? That's Donkey Kong! It's fine. See, <clears throat> now... Was this... This was before Rare did Donkey Kong Country. Yes. Right? Now, I assume we're not going to play Donkey Kong Country. Not for a while. So we're going to talk about Donkey Kong Country. Let's talk about Collectathons. Talk about collectathons. Donkey Kong Country killed collectathons. No, Donkey Kong 64. I'm sorry, I keep yes, saying Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country. Rare had already done Donkey Kong Country there by this point. Donkey Kong yes. Country. Or we'll say DKC, because it's getting hard for me to say Donkey Kong Country so many times. But that old DKC. Okay, well, real quick, are you ready for some fear? Uh, yeah. I'm not scared yet. Was it the ginger? This guy. Oh god! Oh jeez. You know what? I expected there to be a shark, and yet I still wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's spooky. So here's a crab I was talking about earlier. Oh yeah. Go. You gotta go spiral the dragon on him. Come on. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Go. So something weird about these crabs. You can, that. you can find them normal, and uh, you can, 
they'll be knocked over on their back and then you can kill them. Or you can just ground pound them and it'll kill them instantly and give you two health. Well, that's not that weird. That's kind of nice. So, what were we talking about? Oh, good old DKC. Man, no. look at the eyeballs on this one. They just can't stay still. Are those the eyeballs with eyeballs you were talking about? Uh. So, Donkey Kong 64 killed the Collectathon. Yes. Now, for all of our viewers that don't know what a Collectathon is, because every time I'm, we're doing these videos, which this is definitely our first one, I always assume that the people watching it are like 14-year-old girls. I think that's our demographic, right? Yeah, the ones with youthful energy. The ones with the hotness energy? Oh, it's not funny anymore now, it's just creepy. Yeah, so the ones with the youthful energy... We're using it. The ones with the youthful energy. Because because 14-year-old girls only play cell phone games. Right? Like, uh, Clash of Clans. That's their... That's, that's Clash of Clans, uh, target demographic is 14-year-old girls. Right? Or Tiny Tower, or Egg Incorporated. Which are games I'm playing right now. Or Simpsons Tapped Out. Which I've... I don't want to talk about that game. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about how you went into debt because of it. I did not go into debt, but I did spend $300 on that game over the course of six <laughs> months. Do you want me to bleep that out? No, I want everybody to know. Good. Jesus. So anyway, so we've got all these little girls watching our show. Little girls don't know what collect are. They don't make that shit no more. These games are older than them. So yeah, there, was, there was that one collect they tried to make, but it ended up being terrible. <clears throat> Which one? Ukulele. Well, <clears throat> actually, we're about to date this video immediately. At the time of recording, Hat in Time just came out. Oh, well, yes. I haven't, heard, had a, haven't had a chance to play it yet. I have heard that one is actually good, and I've seen friends playing it. Uh, friends that we will one day get on the show if we're lucky. We won't. I, I'm not going to invite him because I hate him. <laughs> I don't really hate him. If you're listening, friend, you know who you are. He's I not, have an idea. He's not listening. I, I don't hate him. But anyway, so these little girls don't know what Collectathons are. So what's a Collectathon, you guys? It is a type of 3D platformer that's defined by collecting a whole bunch of stuff of various types. How many different types of collectibles are in this game? I see, there's Jiggies, there's Notes, there's Jinjos, there's Mumble Tokens, there's Red Feathers, Gold Feathers, Blue Eggs, uh, unique items such as the gold that's in this ship and the oranges from the previous stage. Uh, am I missing anything? I think you just named nine different items. Let's see, we'll also be finding Cheetah later on, we have to find the Mole Hills to unlock new skills. Yeah. It's a lot of crap, dude. It's a lot of stuff. And Banjo Tooie has even more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it simultaneously has less and more at the same time because it takes a lot of stuff that's in this game, like notes and feathers, and puts them in a little basket. So instead of just collecting one at a time, you're collecting five at a time. It's a principle of thing. Mm -hmm. Also, please ignore the thing in the background. What thing in the background? Exactly. Oh. Wow. I walked right into that. Okay. So, but, but, uh, good old DK64 had a big problem with it in that its stages were like Banjo Kazooie, its collectibles were like Banjo Kazooie, where instead you were collect instead of Jiggies, you were collecting golden bananas, instead of notes, you were collecting ban regular bananas. The problem is that the, all the collectibles were split up between the cons, so you had to play each stage five times. I think I'm. Wait, I just got an idea. We're not playing this game five times. No, no, no. No, no. That might be fun. But there's not enough... Oh, there are enough Banjo-Kazooie games to play it five times. Because we could play the Game Boy Color version. And the Game Boy Advance version. Banjo Pilot and Grunny's Revenge? Not happy you know both of those names. <laughs> and then we can play Nuts and Bolts. As well as the two classics. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie and Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Good, excuse me. Uh, bleep that out. So, I'll consider it. Uh, I've, I'm already sure that you have it. Okay, so Diddy Kong Racing, actually. That's, that's interesting that you bring that up. Levi, yep. tell me about Diddy Kong Racing, and tell our 14-year-old girls at home that love our channel about Diddy Kong Racing. 
So, Mario Kart was a thing back then, and it still is, but Rare decided to dip their toes into it, and they made Diddy Kong the main character, but they also added in a whole bunch of other characters that basically they were just testing the waters with. And some of them, uh, one of them was Banjo, and another one was Conker, and the rest were a bunch of randos that nobody really cared about. Is it your story? Well, do you want me to talk more about it? Well, from what I understand, the idea with all those characters in Diddy Kong Racing was that they were going to make games with all of them. And they did not. They only made games with Banjo and Conker. Boy, that was a pipe dream. I know, because there was like ten of the characters in that. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I mean, there's still time. I mean, Xbox needs some good collectathons. Uh, now... Oh. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the platformer starring that one badger. There was a badger? I don't remember the tiger and the panda. God. Alright, so our next LP is going to be Diddy Kong Racing. Gotta beat that whiz pig. I don't... Dude, I fucking suck at Diddy Kong Racing. Last time I played Diddy Kong Racing, um... Wow. I don't fucking remember the last time I played Diddy Kong Racing. So, forget it. Uh, all I remember is that you do the hovercraft sections, and you have the flying sections, right? Flying sections? Yep. Where you play those airplanes. Yeah. Both of them are impossible to control. Is that right? Uh, honestly, it's been so long that I couldn't give you an answer. Alright, so... So, so let's just keep Diddy Kong Racing in the past where it belongs. Yeah. So Conker, uh, good old Conker, uh, they did eventually make a game with him, and they made Conker's Bad Fur Day, which is now incredibly expensive, um, but was also, su it's super surreal to watch that game. I know, I know we're talking about a game outside of the context of what we're on here, but... But Conker's Bad Fur Day is so foul, right? Oh, yeah. And it's so weird, because I'm used to seeing things online from Conker's Bad Fur Day, because I never, never played it myself. Um, not even the Xbox re-release, which... Now, the Xbox re-release is considered inferior to the original, right? Well, it's like a different game, isn't it? I don't know. It was supposed to be a remake, but with, like, added content. So, yeah, a different game. Oh, fuck off. That's not that different, <laughs> dickhead. Anyway, I, I don't remember, uh, it didn't start off with uh, Invasion of Normandy style section? I believe so. That sounds right. Uh, Live and Reloaded. That was what it was called. Conquer Live and Reloaded. Yep. But Conquer's Bad Fur Day is such a classic, cult classic game that even the inferior remake is crazy expensive. So, but it's super weird because I'm so used to Conquer's Bad Fur Day material that seeing Banjo Kazooie here being all cutesy and fun makes you think it's going to take a turn for the worse? Yes, or? exactly! Because I'm used to seeing things like the Great Mighty Pooh. And I'm used to the game swearing at me. And just being disgusting. So, I mean, I'm not trying, obviously I'm not trying to dump on Banjo Kazooie here, but it's, it's just strange to me. Do you have to spell your name? I have to spell a Banjo Kazooie, and I thought that was an N. It's right there. Hey, there's the J. <laughs> Quick, hit the K. It's right there. Hit it better. I'll hit it exactly how I feel like hitting it. <laughs> You're just gonna release that spider. That, that's a crab. What is a crab but an aquatic spider, though, really? What's that? You are on a time limit! I have plenty of time. You've already hit the wrong letters because you can't spell. Back Joe Kazooie. <laughs> to your left, to your left. It actually is to the left. To the left, there. It's right there. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't I just play this fucking game? Please hit the E. Okay, thank you. Oh, because you asked so nicely. Oh! Okay, and just murder this crab. <laughs> I like how you killed him before his text box was done. Oh, yeah. That'll show his ass. What were we talking about? Something stupid, probably. 
We were talking about how you expect this game to uh, become horrendous because yes. of Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Yes, yes, Conquer's Bad Fur Day because it's so violent <clears throat> and disgusting. And all good things, of course, because trust me, I am not one to shy away from violent and disgusting. Levi, have I told you I've seen Sausage Party nine times? Wasn't it eight before? Yeah, well, since I got here, I watched it again. Why? Oh, I love that. My bathroom break wasn't that long. <clears throat> You'd be surprised how quickly I can watch that movie. So, <clears throat> I'm not really afraid of that stuff, but but it's it's strange to to see this game done like this. And Conquer's Bad Fur is Conquer's Bad Fur Day built on the same engine? Uh, probably because it looks identical. Everything's got googly eyes, including the poop, including the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but. What I think is most interesting about Conquer is that there was another Conquer game. You know about this one? It was supposed to be the one originally released, wasn't it? It was on the Game Boy Color. Oh, the Game Boy Color. And I don't remember what it was called, but it was another Conquer game. And it was normal. As in, <clears throat> it was all cutesy like this. It didn't have the, the violence and the... The, 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 the foulness. Yeah, originally the N64 game was supposed to be like that too, but they changed it. Right, to make reason. it interesting. But the point is, because nobody remembers the fucking Game Boy Color game, nobody gives a shit. Everybody remembers the disgusting one because it's awesome. Just like Sausage Party. My favorite movie of all time. And so... I thought that was Food Fight. <clears throat> food Fight? No, 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 no. Food Fight is... Sausage Party is the gritty reboot of Food Fight. Levi, let me ask you something. Have you actually seen Food Fight? No. I have! My sister fucking loves that movie. Because there's something wrong with that woman. And there's oh. not with you. No, I'm totally fine. I'm normal. I'm great. Any fucking way. So, uh... <clears throat> but... I remember years ago... I wonder where it is. I was actually just about to say those words. Anyway, I remember years ago... I, I used to subscribe to uh, Pocket Gamer Magazine. Did you read that? Uh, was that for portable systems? Obviously, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Gentle, gentle, easy, easy. There. Fucking dead. Like changing a baby's diaper. Um. <laughs> gotta wipe out all those hotness energies. Okay, so I avoided the question for long enough. That island is not supposed to be up that high. That is Shark Food Island, and only that little tip is supposed to be there. And that entrance is supposed to be there. This is because of a system they implemented called Stop and Swap. Ah, uh, yes. Go on. Where the idea is that whenever they release the sequel, Banjo-Tooie, there would be points where you could stop the game and swap the cartridges out in order to access these areas. Then you'd be able to get items, which you could bring back to Banjo-Tooie, in order to get different stuff. They hadn't really figured out then all they knew is that there were items that they want to try it out. The idea behind this is that the RAM would still be hot, if you will, for about 10 seconds or so, which would be enough time to swap out the cartridges. Right. The problem is that the design got changed later on, so it will last for less than two seconds, which wasn't really enough time to do it. So Stop and Swap ended up being this sort of abandoned thing where instead, in Banjo-Tooie, you would break open literal Banjo-Kazooie cartridges in order to get the items. Right. <clears throat> the thing is, you can get the items by using special codes, and the items are associated with the game cartridge, not the game save files. So this stuff is just here forever. So you've unlocked those on a different save file. Yeah, you saw me erase the data and start fresh uh, at the beginning of this. Interesting. Now... You were talking about stop and swap, and and the only thing I'll add, because you summed it up, because that's actually something else that I know. Pretty much everything that's known about stop and swap is from this group called the Rare Witch Project. Of course it is. Because that's also 1998. Are you gonna, is that all you had to say about them? Uh, that I just wanted to give shoutouts where shoutouts are due. Yeah, good job, guys. Uh, seriously. Uh, what the fuck? But <clears throat> the other thing I was going to say about Stop and Swap is that okay. you mentioned that the design changed. 
Oh god, it's not there. There is a honeycomb piece somewhere along here. And murder, death, murder, Is it inside oh. him? No, just teeth. So, anyway, you mentioned the design change. The design change was in the Nintendo 64 of, itself. Of the Nintendo 64 system itself. There it is. Right. And, um... Yeah, the, the RAM... Uh, I mean, he summed it up. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, like, find ways that I can add to make me sound smart, but... Yeah, basically, they, they wanted to do that thing where you could swap the carts, and they changed the N64 so that it wouldn't hold the data long enough. Yeah, I don't know if, uh... <clears throat> Now, now the idea with the stop and swap was not to pull out the cart while the game was running. The idea was that you get to a certain point in the game, and then it would give data to the RAM. Then you would turn the system off, uh, pull out the banjo Tooie cartridge, and then put the banjo Kazooie cartridge in there, which would uh, give some sort of code that would cause, like, say, that island to rise up. Then you could go in and get the item, and then since the item was associated with the game, the information would be in the RAM. In which case, you would turn it off. Swap it out with the Banjo Tui cartridge, and then turn it back on. It's so cool. Like I've heard that multiple times from other people on YouTube and other other places online. I've heard it from you multiple times, but it's always so cool to talk about because that's something that just—it's it, really a pipe dream. It never happened, but goddamn, if it isn't a good fucking idea. It sort of reminds me of Mo uh, Monster Rancher. Oh uh, yeah, Monster Rancher on the PlayStation here. And then other systems later where you would put your any disc in. Uh, any sort of disc you think of and you might get a cool, unique monster to live on a ranch. And, um, my experience with Monster Rancher, uh, when I was young, my parents were going to buy me a game. And it was either Monster Rancher or I want to say Medieval on the PlayStation. And I opted for Medieval instead, which... I don't regret at all because Medieval is amazing and we're going to put that on our list of LP because that's a game I'm fucking good at, but um, I do somewhat, not really big regret, but kind of regret missing out on Monster Rancher because it was such a unique series. Um, but the extent of my experience with Monster Rancher was a friend of mine who's a number of years younger than me uh, had Monster Rancher and <clears throat> was playing it and was like, hey! You got any CDs I can use? And I just grabbed my my stack of CDs out of my car. And lo and behold, Gorilla's self-titled album gave him a unique monster. And I was the hero of the hour. And I felt super great about myself. Was it a gorilla? I don't think so. It was probably a big well, eyeball or was something. The... <laughs> it was probably an eyeball with eyeballs or something. But... Uh... Oh, fuck, dude, I for fucking was telling a story earlier and I totally forgot it. So, so Pocket Gamer Magazine. Okay. Uh, guys, it, uh, Levi, I want you to put an annotation in. You can still do annotations on YouTube, right? Put an annotation in. I think they got rid of them, actually. Yeah, I know. Put an annotation in that uh, if you guys want to hear the continuation of the Pocket Gamer story, to fast forward it right here. Uh, Pocket Gamer did a review of that Conquer game and they said it was dumb. I did not say it was a good story. I said it was the end of the story. Some stories have bad endings, Lee. Why ain't you ever read Romeo and Juliet? That's not worth... They not, die! That's not worth the work to edit that in there. Do you want me to do it? No. Good, because I wasn't going to fucking do it. I can't use Photoshop. You use Photoshop to edit these videos, right? Sure. Now, were you actually supposed to fly up there or take take the hill? Uh, you can go either way. They expect you to take the hill, but I like flying up there. Uh, games, games. Uh, lets you do what you want, right? Yep. Very nice. I also like this is something I just noticed. I also like how. Oh God. What? I have oh, one. God. <laughs> Okay, let's just hope that it's just somewhere around here. This is another problem with collectathons, because I remember this from my golden standard of collectathons, Gex 3, uh, where you get to 99 fly coins. And you're like, oh my fucking Christ. It's nowhere. It's nowhere. It doesn't exist. You have to cheat, just like on the Xbox version. 
Anyway. Uh, what were we talking about before that? Oh, yeah! So, one thing I noticed that I think is kind of cool with, uh, this game, and it, it's... Oh. Like I said, I haven't played a lot of other collectathons. I'm gonna let you wander around this level. And... Oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna be wandering. Hopefully, I'll have something interesting to say. If not, we're gonna, uh, edit it out to the point... Oh, wait! 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 That's a honeycomb piece. Not the honeycomb piece. The note! Oh, what the hell, game? So we don't have to edit anything out. We don't have to edit anything out. Whatever. So, one thing I just noticed about this game is you'll activate that... You activated that grunty switch. Yep. Which shot a jiggy out into the overworld. And to Gruntilla's castle, yes. Right. Uh, that's, that's super cool. That's because there's nine stages. Ten jiggies in each makes 90. And, and, each then, ha and each has a switch which will make 99. Plus the one we found at the beginning. Right. So that's super cool that um, they would do something like that. Oh, wait. Did you get the jiggy? I can't tell. All I can see is that pixelated ass lock. Yeah, I got a granny's booty. Nice. But you need to wait until she puts the hotness energies into it. Otherwise, you just get the saggy seven billion year old booty. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> We've all been there, folks. Like and subscribe. Please. Please. <laughs> so, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, Boy, it's a good fucking question. Are you gonna go so, to that shark bite cavern or not? No. How come? Uh, it's not really part of the stage. And there's nothing in there since I already got the egg. Ugh, you're not even going to show off? Okay, fine. I will go in there for you. If I know anything about Levi, it is that Levi is a fucking show off. He laughs, but he knows I'm right. So. Well, I do have a YouTube channel about how I'm good at video games. Uh, great. Is the sub channel going to be about how I'm bad at video games? You've got Levi Wins and Tommy Sucks as your two channels on your channel. And I'll have the first three episodes of Gex 3 Let's Play before you give up on it. I will never give up on my husbando Gex. He's too handsome. Fuck. Any fucking way. So. So, yep, yeah, here's the reason why I didn't want to come in here. It's a pain in the ass? Oh, yeah. I noticed that uh, as you were flying past, uh, there's a number of health pickups still just sitting there. They don't despawn until you leave the stage. That's interesting. All right, and the egg will be right here. Okay, edit in a picture of an egg. Just any egg, I don't care. Everyone enjoying this?